Tonight, we welcome you to the biggest stage of all of football, Super Bowl 58. Sitting by me, myself, and I, where the Kansas City Chiefs face off with the San Francisco 49ers in a Super Bowl clash, where me will be your announcer for today's game, and we have myself and I as referees for today's game. The Chiefs have, in fact, won the coin toss and will like to kick. So, start the first quarter. Harrison Bucker kicks it off, and that will start the game as it flies out of the end zone for a touchback. So, here are the 49ers ready for their first drive, led out by none other than Mr. Irrelevant Brock Purdy, who makes his first Super Bowl appearance. So, start the drive. Purdy is in shotgun. McCaffrey at the back. He hands it off to McCaffrey. Stiffs on him, a man. And he will eventually be taken down at about the 34. So they'll call it a second and one. So, Purdy, in shotgun, takes the snap. Rolls out to his right, avoids pressure. Tight coverage by the Chiefs just forces him to throw it away. Smart decision, third down. So, cloud in motion. Purdy takes a snap. And it's off to McLeod, and he'll pick up about five yards to 40, and she'll easily have the first down. So now with a first and 10 from their own 40, Purdy has an open backfield. Take the snap. Step set up in the pocket, and he is going to launch a rocket down deep left side to Ayuk, incomplete. Snead is there to knock it down harmlessly to the ground. But there is a penalty flag on the field, and I think that might have been... Roughing the passer on Wharton, the defensive end. Looked like he just hit Purdy just a little bit late. Here's myself for the call. Pass interference, number 98. 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. So, after the penalty, Niners with the ball on the Chiefs 45. First down, around 13 and a half minutes left in the first. Purdy takes a snap, fakes the handoff to McCaffrey, has to back up. And we'll just dump it off to McCaffrey, who actually loses about a yard. The powerful slam by Drew Tranquil, and they're going to call it second and 11. So with 13 minutes left in the game, Purdy hands it off to McCaffrey. Oh, and he finds a big hole, and the defense just slams right through it. Oh, but a fumble! Chiefs 20, and Justin Reed is there to recover it. He's tapped down at the 18 by Ayuk. Initially, McCaffrey finds a hole, but then Mike Edwards, the safety, tracks down McCaffrey and strips him where Reed is nearby to dive onto the ball, which gets the Chiefs the ball. So here comes Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs offense in a great position now with the defense getting the turnover. So Mahomes, ready for his first snap, takes it, steps up in the pocket. Completes the Watson on the slant, who will gain about seven yards, bringing up a second and three as Fred Warner on the tackle. So, Mahomes takes a snap, hands it off to Pacheco, going inside right, but is stopped for a minimal two-yard gain. It's going to be about a third and one. So, just under 12 minutes to go, Mahomes, the empty backfield, takes a snap, roll out to his left, and he's sacked! Chase Young, but a three-yard loss, and the Chiefs will not have to punt from their own 24 on their very first drive. That is not a good sign for things to come. So, now on fourth down, Townsend is out to punt. Oh, and he takes a snap, and it's a long one. The cloud will return it from its own 24, about a 52-yard punt. But it kind of jukes a man, and it'll... It slows down his movement, so he'll be quickly tackled down. I'll bring that ball to the 40. So 16-yard return and negates a pretty good punt by a bit. So now Brock Purdy quickly back out onto the field after the quick three and out made by their defense. And he will have good field position due to that good punt return. So just about... 11 minutes to go in this first quarter. Purdy in shotgun. Take the snap. Hands out to McCaffrey running right. Finds a hole and he'll gain 7 yards to their own 47. Second down. 
Tackle made by Karlaftis there. So with ten and a half minutes to go, Purdy takes a snap, hands it off to McCaffrey, running outside left, finds a little rune, picks up the first just barely. Oh, but Andy Reid is going to throw out the red flag. He is no stranger to that. And we'll take another look at this. Uh, what they'll be looking for here is whether the knee went down before he reached the first down or not. Here's the ref with the final call. After review of the play, call is overturned. The Chiefs will not be charged with a timeout. They just set the clock to 10-27. Third down. So after the successful challenge, it'll be a third and inches at the 49ers 49. How ironic. So, Purdy with two backs behind him after the penalty. Takes a snap. Hands it off to Yuzichik. And just trucks the front of the line to bite off a pretty decent gain of four to the Chiefs 47. First down. And now it's just under 10 minutes to go, Purdy, with an empty backfield, takes a snap, steps up in the pocket, and connects to Brandon Ayuk on the curl route, and gains about 13 yards on the curl, pick up another first down to the Chiefs 34, Trent McDuffie on the tackle there. So, uh, Purdy quickly gets back to the line, same formation, takes a snap, rolls out to his right quickly, tries to hit Ayuk again, but this time McDuffie is ready this time. And he will knock the ball to the ground, second down. That might not have been the best play there. I think they just tried to rush something that thought could work. I don't think it really worked out too well for them. So now, after the incompletion, Purdy, in shotgun, takes the snap. Hands it out to McCaffrey, and he finds a big hole, and he is flying. It's a foot race. McCaffrey to the 20, 15, 10, 5, dice to the pylon, and he gets it. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey with a 34-yard run for the touchdown. San Francisco will take the lead 6-0 to zero after an amazing run by McCaffrey. He has been great so far for the 49ers tonight. Now here's Moody for the extra point. It's good. Niners take an early lead, 7 to nothing. So, with about 9.5 minutes to go, Moody kicks off to the Chiefs four. James will just call for a fair catch, and the Chiefs will start out at the 25. So, here comes Mahomes to start their next drive. It's in shotgun. Take the snap. Quick pass to Kelsey. Con oh, and he is rumbling. Takes multiple 49ers to bring him down at around the 37 for a 12-yard gain. Pretty good gain on first down. So, with just under nine minutes to go, Mahomes, still in shotgun, takes the handoff to Checo, and it's an option, but my word was that a bad idea. The Niners were ready for it, and Nick Bosa just slams Mahomes down for a three-yard loss. But it looked like even if he would have handed that off, it would not have gone much better. So, that'll back them up to their own 34 for a second and 13. So... Mahomes takes a snap, hands it off to Checo, running inside right. Picks up about five yards to the 39, and that'll make it a little bit more manageable. Third and eight, as we reach around the halfway point of this first quarter. Tackled by Randy Gregory. So, Mahomes, empty backfield, takes a snap, waits, steps up in the pocket, and hits... Now that Scatling on the crossing route, he's got space, but Ryan manages to catch him at the 50 as Scantling picks up 11 yards, will easily pick up the first for the Chiefs. So, with just over 7 minutes to go in the first half, Rice is sent in motion left from far right, Mons takes a snap, it's a screen pass, Shuffles up the Clyde, and with blockers in front, he just charges ahead and keeps going, makes it all the way to the third. He won before he is knocked out of bounds by a Ward for a 19-yard gain. Wow. Great play there. So, so, Mahomes, in shotgun, takes a snap, fakes a handoff to Checo, steps back, avoids pressure, and will roll out. Oh, and he, that's not a good throw to Travis Kelsey. Thankfully for him, it's a little too low so no one can really catch it or anything. I'll bring up a second down. So now with six and a half minutes to go, Mahomes takes a snap, 
plots an emotion, fakes it him, and hands it to Pacheco, who gets scalped right at the line for no gain by Chase Young, and that'll force the Chiefs into a third and ten. So with exactly six minutes to go, Mahomes from the Niners 31, empty backfield, takes a snap, steps up, and fires a shot to the end zone. Caught Justin Watson touchdown Chiefs. And man, if you just see Watson blows by the defender by a long shot on that go route, and Masom sees that and just shreds this defense on that long go route. Oh, and it looks like Andy Reid's going to tell his offense to stay out there. He's going for two. So, here's Mahomes. Takes a snap. In shotgun. And he'll pass to Noah Gray for the two-point. And he's got it. Chiefs will take a one-point lead in Super Bowl as the Niners watch their lead quickly disappear. Man, that was... I think Mahomes, or Andy Reid, is actually really excited to get this these points. Feel like he's getting a bit point greedy here, but it does work out, and they will have that one point lead, which might turn out to be pretty vital down the line. All right, so after the two point conversion, here's Harrison Bucker to kick it off. Raymond Cloud is choosing to return it from his own end zone. That's a bad, might be a bad move. He makes a man miss at the 20, though. Cuse's momentum, he breaks free. It's him versus Butker, and it's not even close. Touchdown, 49ers. Ray Ray McLeod with a kick return touchdown. And that is just so wonderful moment for this guy. He is enjoying the heck out of him. You see him celebrating. He might be fine after this game. Man, you just love to see a guy with so much joy in his eyes. The 49ers take the lead back 13-8. Wow, that is one way to respond to a touchdown two-point conversion. So, Moody is going to take the point after, and that will extend the lead to six, 14 to eight. So, now after the successful extra point, here's Moody to kick off, hit the back of the end zone for a touchback. So, here comes the Chiefs offense yet again after quickly losing the lead after an amazing kick return touchdown. So, here's Mahomes, in shotgun, hands it off to Checo, he found a small gap to get up about the 29, solid 4-yard run on first down. So, uh, just over 5 minutes left in the first quarter, Mahomes takes a snap, fakes the handoff to Checo, and oh my, he is sacked by Bosa and Young. And my goodness, Mahomes was helpless in this situation. He barely had time to turn around before he was slammed to the ground by the beasts. Bosa and Young, and now with that sack, will be a third and 14 from their own 21. They're risking the prospect of having to punt from their own end zone for the second time tonight. And man, this offensive line is not getting off to a good start here. Oh, looks like they might have trouble right out of the gate, but it does look like they will take a timeout with one second left on the play clock. That looked like a little bit of a miscommunication there, but it'll only be their first timeout. All right, so now with four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter, Mahomes, empty backfield, takes a snap, rolls out to his left, Voids the pressure, and he fired downfield to Rice on the corner. Caught! Wow, that was an excellent doe tap on the sideline. You'll get about to their own 40 for a solid 19-yard gain. And they will fit up the first down on a risky third and 14. That almost had them punting from their own end zone. So, now Mahomes takes a snap. Hands it off to Checo, running outside left, but he will be stopped for a minimal third three-yard gain. And, man, this run game has not gotten off to a good start here, but there's still plenty of time to go. Maybe he'll pick his uh, legs back up. He's tackled by Thomas and Lenore. So, now, Mahomes, in shotgun, takes a snap, and quickly bullets it to Kelsey on the flat, but only gets about three yards. Looks like they thought he might have been able to break a tackle there, but now he'll be stopped there by Fred Warner. And now it will bring up a third and four. So now with just under three minutes to go, the Chiefs at their own 46. 
Mahomes take the snap, rolls out to his right, and he's going to take out the pickup first, and he slides down, but I'm not sure he picked up the first. I know he didn't. They call it a fourth and one on their 49, but it looks like the Chiefs were going for it. So, with two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter, Pacheco takes the wreck snap, actually, and just rams himself up the middle to pick up the first. And you will get it. About four yards to the 47, the 49ers. Man, they knew what they wanted. They wanted to slam that ball up the middle, and they put it in the hands of Pacheco, and he actually did come through with them for this one. Alright, so now after picking up the important first down, the Chiefs will retain possession. Mahomes, in shotgun, takes a snap, hands it off to Macheco on the draw, but they are ready for him, and he'll lose two yards back to the 49. Chase Young will be on the tackle for loss. So with just under a minute and a half left to go in this first quarter, Valis Scantling is set in motion towards Mahomes, and he'll get it on the jet sweep. Oh, oh great blocking gives him lots of space, and he is sprinting to the end zone. He's at the 40, 30, and he'll be taken down at the 28 for a 20-yard gain. 21 yard, excuse me. That will set up the Chiefs for at likely at least three points, and I would not be surprised if we see more jet sweeps today. These jet sweeps have been pretty successful. Defense just can't stop them. Logan Ryan's on the tackle there. So, Chiefs in shotgun. Mahomes takes a snap. Hands it off to Checo, who will be tackled to the line for no gain by Nick Bosa. So, with 18 seconds left, Chiefs with two backs. Mahomes takes a snap. Fakes the handoff to Checo on the right. Runs to left using Edwards Alaire as a blocker. And he will slide down for a decent 12-yard gain to the 9. It will be a first and goal from the 9. And on that play, we will end the first. After one, the score is 14-8, 49ers. And the Chiefs with possession on the nine of the Niners. And here on your screen, I am showing you the first quarter stats. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second quarter of this Super Bowl. We bring you back to where the score is currently 14-8, San Francisco with the lead, but the Chiefs do currently have the ball at the Niners. Nine, so that could quickly change. So now we bring you down to the field where Mahomes he's in shotgun. Motion to check the line left, takes a snap, passes the check on the short out, but oh, he drops it. He had lots of pressure on him being near the end zone, but that's one he really should have came down with. I bring up a second goal. So Chiefs come with a jumbo package, somewhat surprisingly. And they're kind of tipping their hat on running the ball. Mahomes takes a snap, and he'll hand it out to Checo running left outside. And he get about five yards before being forced out of bounds by the safety Gibson. Uh, bring up a third and goal from the four. So with just under 14 and a half minutes to go in the second quarter, Mahomes in shotgun takes a snap, and he'll hand it out to Pacheco, who finds a hole and touchdown. Chiefs, Isaiah Pacheco, four yard touchdown run. And yeah, you can just see the Niners were not prepared for that play. It just looked like they weren't expecting the run. I don't know. It looked like it was pretty easy pickings for picking Pacheco to get in the end zone. I'll tap the score, 14-14. And with Butker's extra point, it is up and good. They'll take the one-point lead. So now after the successful extra point, Bucker, let's kick it out of the end zone for a touchback. So now Purdy will come out in the second quarter down one with 14 and a half minutes left in the first half. So Purdy, heavy sat out there. Hands off McCaffrey, but this defense is done getting beat, and they will stop him at the line for absolutely no yard gain. Tackle made by Bolton and Tranquil there. So it just... Around uh, 14 minutes left to go. Purdy takes a snap. Hands out to Devo. He'll pick up about three. So that'll bring up a third and seven. So Purdy, two backs. Takes a snap. Passes to use a check on the Texas route. He'll pick up six yards. Oh, no. He gets a broken tackle. And that'll give him an extra four yards. And they will, in fact, secure the first down. Which is very important in this game. And could prove to be a... Key play if the Niners are to win this game. It's now at 
13 minutes left. Niners, empty backfield. Purdy takes a snap, and it's a QB draw play. You know, they got five yards before sliding down, but there is multiple flags on the field. So let's see what they are from the ref. Looks like they're discussing it right now. So here's the ref for the call. There are two penalties on the field. One on each side. Offense. Off sides. Number 11. Defense. Offsides. Number 51. These penalties offset each other, so the ball will go back to its previous spot. Replay. First down. Alright, so that basically, like you said, offsets it, and we'll just play that play again just like it never happened. So, now with 12 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Niners, second and nine from their own 39. Purdy takes a snap, fakes a handoff, but he finds himself quickly covered. Manages to just toss it to McCaffrey, really not picking a yard to make it a third and six on the play. That really should have been a sack there. So Purdy, now in shotgun, takes the snap, fires an absolute bullet to Debo, who pick up about five yards to the 45, but that will force a fourth down. And we'll see if they want to go for it or not. So it looks like Misnowski is actually out to punt for the first time. He's going for the directional kick. Oh, and that out of bounds bounce was awesome. They'll mark it out at the five of the Chiefs. So the Chiefs will be backed up to start their drive. So here comes the Chiefs. You need to be careful to avoid the safety. Backed up deep in their own end zone. So here comes Mahomes for the first snap of the drive. He's in shotgun. Take the snap. Heads off to check out running inside and middle. Again, about five yards. Decent run on first down. So Mahomes, empty backfield, takes a snap. Rolls out to his right and just has to toss it away to avoid the sack. Third down. So with ten and a half minutes to go on their own ten. Mahomes takes a snap. Two backs in the backfield. Hits Watson on the slant and He'll pick about eight yards to give the Chiefs the first down. Tackled by Chedarius Ward. So now with just under 10 minutes to go, Mahomes with one back behind him takes a snap. Niners bring pressure, but it's a play fake, surprisingly. And Mahomes is sacked down. And Randy Gregory with the sack at their own 13. That's the third time tonight he's been brought down. It's only the second quarter. Offensive line has not been doing their part today. But despite that, he's looked pretty good when he isn't being sacked. Snap is a sack. Chiefs will be backed up to the second 15. Mahomes, empty backfield, takes a snap, steps up in the pocket, and launches a rocket to Rice. But, oh, he drops it. It looked like he had a pretty good line on it. But the pressure on Ward just looked like it was a little too much for him. They'll bring up third and 15 from their own 15. Maybe before be forced to give Niners pretty good field position to start if they have to punt from here. So Mahomes on a third and long, still by himself in the backfield, takes a snap, and pressure's coming quick and fast, but he manages to dump out the Noah Gray, and he has some space, he breaks the tackle, and now he's going, going 25-30, and he top down at the 33, and will pick up the first down. That was an excellent play by Noah Gray. There was lots of factors on how he got that done, but despite that, I still feel it's a lot of the effort was due to him, and a great play made by him. And his teammates, pretty helpful too. And he'll be tackled down by Thomas for an 18-yard gain. So now from their own 33, a little bit safer than they were before, Mahomes in shotgun, takes a snap, hands off to Checker, and he finds a gap, or makes a gap to gain about 7 yards to 40. That was amazing improv by Pacheco. There really wasn't any space, but he somehow managed to make space, and that gave him a pretty decent gain. Now the second and short, Mahomes takes the snap, play action with the rollout, and he just has to toss it away. No one open and pressure on him. That's a smart decision by Mahomes to get rid of it. I'll bring up third and short. So with just under eight minutes to go, Mahomes in shotgun, takes the snap and just hang out the chicken. We gain up three yards to pick up another first. Tackled by Eric Armstead there. So Mahomes... Heavy set out there, takes a snap, hands off to Edwards Alaire running outside right, gets some good blocking, which happens to pick up about nine yards to 48, 49ers. So with six minutes and 50 seconds left, Mahomes, empty backfield, takes a snap, steps up on the pocket, and the pass is deflected by Armstead, who gets a hand on it. 
and that'll make it a third and very short. Now, Chiefs, two backs. Mahomes takes the snap, hands off to Chico, rushes out the middle for a short one-guard gain. But they, it is enough for the first, but they aren't quite in field goal range just yet. So now with six minutes and 15 seconds, Mahomes in shotgun, takes a snap, steps back, but then steps back up to avoid pressure. He's going to take up, off up the middle and keeps going. 40, 35, and he's finally stopped at 33 for a 15-yard gain. What a great run on first down. So Mahomes, now four wide receivers out there, takes a snap, steps up, and hits a band on his scantling on a slant. That was a beautiful throw. I'm getting about seven yards on that. I'll bring up a second and manageable. So with just under five minutes to go, Mahomes in shotgun, takes a snap. Niners bring pressure. He tries to hit Rice, but he got hit as he was throwing, so it, it falls incomplete. So now on third down, Mahomes takes a snap, and hands off to Checo, but he's stopped behind the line for like, Eric Armstead for a one-yard loss. So now from the Niners, 26, here comes Butker to get pick up. Three points from a 44-yard field goal. Snap is good. Hold good. And it is good. That was never in doubt. Score is now 18-14 Chiefs. So after a successful field goal, but Kerr is out the kickoff. And just launches it out of the end zone. So there will be a touchback. So now with four minutes and 19 seconds left to go. Your guns Buck Purdy and the 49ers offense ready for the next drive with a little over... Four minutes to go in the first half. Purdy in shotgun takes a snap. Hands off McCaffrey. We'll find a small gap, but thankfully for the Chiefs, he only gained three yards, and that's Nick Bolton on the tackle. 28. So it's just under four minutes to go. Chiefs, no, the Niners, excuse me, not in a bit of a hurry-up mode, but they also don't want to give the Chiefs another possession, so it's a bit more of a controlled hurry-up. And they do have all three timeouts, so that is a thing to keep in mind. And Purdy, empty backfield, four wide receivers out there. Takes a snap, quickly hits Jimmy on the curl route. We'll gain about 12 to the 40. Gain a new set of downs, tackled there by Sneed. Niners still in a relaxed and controlled hurry up. Same formation, Purdy takes a snap and his draw blade for McCaffrey. will find some space and gain yards, 10 yards to 50. Good enough for the first down. So with three minutes to go, Purdy with Debo in the backfield. No McCaffrey, surprisingly. He takes a snap, fake to hand off to Debo, and gets hit at his throw, but he manages to pull it through and get to McClellan on the short crossing route. He'll pick up about five to the 45 of the Chiefs, tackled by Trent McDuffie there. So Purdy hurt his guy to the line, get another playoff, so they stay with four receivers and Debo acting as the running back. Purdy takes a snap, and he flicks it back to Debo, who looks like he'll pass, actually, and he finds Chris Conley. And on the in route, no, what a, that was a great adjustment by Conley to make the grab. He only has to play a defender there. But he will gain the five yards and pick up the first. That really could have gone badly for them. Thankfully for them, Conley was there to make a play when it mattered most. And it really helps to have guys buried on your depth chart. They make plays like that. Tackled there by Jaden Watson. So they do just get the playoff right before the two-minute warning. Purdy steps up on the pocket, hits Kittle on drag route. The 27 will be crowded at the 24. That is a great play by Kittle, and surprisingly, his first target of the game. But it's a good one that goes for 16 yards. So now, just after the two minute warning, Purdy ready to get this drive finished off with seven points to get a three point lead. Purdy in shotgun. He'll take the snap, fakes the handoff, and rolls out to his left. This is not in well for him at all. Sacked by Wharton. He gets his revenge for the earlier roughing the passer call. Now about push him back five yards to the 29. That is a great play on the Chiefs defense. They covered up all the receivers and followed it up with an excellent pass rush. You can see Wharton excitement there. The sack Purdy there. So the Niners will not call a timeout, and they will have to get back to the line on a second and 15, getting close to the red side, but would like to avoid taking a field goal and giving the Chiefs another chance to score. Purdy, two backs in the backfield, takes a snap, hits kill on that out route, but Sneed manages to tackle him by himself and keep him inbounds at the 22. That'll bring out a third and eight, and the Niners will take a timeout with 58 seconds left to go in the first half. So... 
now that means that the Chiefs probably will not take another drive since there's just really not enough time. So Purdy, now with an empty backfield and McCaffrey on the line, takes a snap, steps up, and just sort of shuffles it to McCaffrey on the cross as they try to muscle their way to that first, but only pick up six out of it and bring on to fourth and two at the C-16. They do not look like they're going for it. They'll probably wait till the last second to drain as much clock as possible. So with 13 seconds left to go, Niners take the timeout, their second. And here's Jake Moody to see about getting three. It's a 34-yard field goal. Kick is up, and it's good. Now I'll bring down the lead a little bit, 18-17. She still hold the lead. It's now a 10-second left. Here's Moody to kick off for the last time in this half. And he hits it to the Kansas City one. James will attempt to make a magic on the return. Oh no, he finds a hole at the 23. He is going and he is stopped with a no time on the clock. Uh, the 49ers 45. Tackled by Moody, actually. By himself. That is a pretty good play by the punter. Or the kicker, excuse me. So that's where we'll end off the first half. And in the description, there is stats for the second half. Super Bowl 58, and just a second here, we'll lead you off to the third quarter. Everyone, welcome to the final half of Super Bowl 58. We only have one more half of football to play before the offseason officially starts. So now, here's Jake Moody to kick us off. And that is a high, high kick. It'll come down to make it to the 14 of the Chiefs, but it took so long for it to come down that he's gonna. James is just going to have to call for a touchback. So, now here comes the Chiefs offense for their first drive of the second half. They currently hold the lead, 18-17. They will hope to build on pawn that lead. So, Mahomes, now two backs in the backfield, takes a snap, hands it off to Chico, who will gain about five yards up the middle to the 30. And that's a run he'll take every single time on first and 10. Tackle there by Fred Warner. So, now from their own 30, Mahomes in shotgun, takes a snap, Steps back and roll to his left with no one open. He'll take off before sliding down for a minimal two-yard gain. So now at the third and three from their own 32, Mahomes in shotgun. Motions check to the right side of the line. The motion's right from the other side of the line. Takes a snap while he's in motion. There's a little pop pass for Rice, who gets about two yards before him being stopped. So that'll bring about fourth and one. The Chiefs will actually have to punt on their first drive the second half. That's Gibson on the tackle. That's a pretty strange play. But anyway, about 13 and a half minutes, here comes Tommy. A punt for only the second time tonight with McLeod back to receive. Oh, and he fumbles a snap a little bit, but he's able to recover. But that hit does not look as strong as normal because he had the rush to avoid a block. And McLeod Fair catches it at the, about the 26 for a 40-yard punt, so that'll hurt his average a little bit. So here comes the Niners for their first offensive drive of the second half. Their defense defense forced a quick three and out, and a weaker punt let them start at their own 26. So Purdy, now in shotgun, takes a snap. Boys pressure rolls out to his left, and he gets Kittle on the in route going towards him. Turns up field, he won't make it much further than that. He stopped at 34 for a eight-yard gain, sorry. And it looks like the Niners are finally trying to get Kittle involved. Takes McDuffie and Sneed to bring him down. So now just under 13 minutes left to go in the third quarter. And a second and short, Purdy has the ninth new backfield, takes a snap, and he runs up the middle for a draw play there. Strange call there, but he, we won't argue with the results. He'll slide out on the 40 for a six-yard gain. Now will move the chains, give him another first down at the 40. So now the fresh set of downs, 12 out of nine minutes to go in the half. Purdy takes a snap, hands off McCaffrey, running straight over the gut and up. First down as he gains 11 yards of the 49 of the Chiefs. McCaffrey has just been unstoppable tonight. I believe he's averaging over 10 yards a carry at this point of the game. So now with about 12 minutes to go, Niners with a very heavy setup there, an extra lineman, even basically Dellen. Chiefs, they want to run the ball, but 
I mean, if it works, it works. So, as expected, Purdy takes a snap and hands it off to McCaffrey. But, oh, it's a counter. Uh, somehow manages to trick the defense and give McCaffrey plenty of space. And it turns into a boat race, 30-20. And somehow Trent McDuffie managed to track down McCaffrey and bring him down at the 14. That was a great play that totally fooled that defense. But also, a miracle, the defense was able to stop McCaffrey after he found a giant patch of green grass. Empty, mind you. So he gained about 25 yards in that play. And now after a great run by McCaffrey, it was barely short of a touchdown because of Trent McDuffie. 49ers now have first and 10 of the Chiefs 14. So Purdy takes a snap, makes the handoff to McCaffrey, steps out of the pocket and fires the end zone for Ayuk. Oh, but it looks like Trent McDuffie is there to knock it down to the ground. And hopefully they can prevent a touchdown, force them to take the field goal. So, Purdy in shotgun after the incompletion. Takes a snap. Hands last McCaffrey running up the middle. But Chris Jones manages to break free and tackle him at the line for a one-yard game. So, now at the third and nine, Purdy, empty backfield. Hits Jennings on the slant. He's tackled right at the line, but he did cross over. And Elijah says, no, he didn't. And I'll make it a first and goal. From the one, he just barely didn't make it. And just has to... That just has to hurt to miss an opportunity to score, especially in this big of a stage. And that is Bush on the tackle. And now with the 49ers, that's as close as you can get to the end zone without being a touchdown. We'll bring out the super heavy set for what is likely to be a McCaffrey run. As we have seen that he still seems to be effective running the ball. Purdy takes a snap and he hands it off, but no, he stopped. He might have even lost the yard to Chris Jones. He makes an excellent play to keep the Niners out of the end zone. They will mark him out the two, so it is a tackle for a loss of one. So now just under 10 minutes ago, we'll see if they still want to try and run the ball. And they have two backs in the backfield with a heavy set, so probably either run a use a check or Oh, wait, no, that's Elijah Mitchell. Looks like McCaffrey is out of the game for right now. So, Purdy takes a snap. He'll have to choose a chicken, but he won't make it. He'll only pick up that one yard back, and that'll be Wharton on the stop. So now, can this defense hold up one more time to force a fourth down? They've done pretty good so far. Let's see if they can do it again. So, now, Purdy... Empty backfield with three tight ends in the game and a pretty strange formation, but he takes a snap anyway. The tar target Kittle, oh, he drops it. That will force a fourth and down, but really that should have been a touchdown. It just slipped right out of Kittle's hand. And, ah, uh, man, I don't know. They might consider going for it since they are so close to their end zone. If they don't get it, their defense could force a safety, especially with how this defense has been playing today. So, and yes, it looks like they will be going for it on fourth and goal. So, here comes Purdy in shotgun. He'll take the snap. And, oh, my, he will hand it off to McCaffrey. But, no, he won't make it. He stopped right at the line for no game. Tackled by George Kalaftis and Chris Jones there. So, now the Chiefs, as they are stuck in a precarious position. This is sure their defense may have prevented any points from going on the board, but now they're stuck on their own end zone, face the prospect of possibly taking a safety. So Mahomes gets set in the shotgun formation, two wide receivers and two tight ends, takes a snap. Oh, he tripped. How? What? It looked like he just tripped out of the end zone. I think he might have just backed up and knocked himself down. That has got to be you know, this is one of the most bizarre plays I have ever seen. I would not want to be Patrick Holmes right now. He's going to be a absolute joke to everyone that everyone forever looks back on, especially with this being the biggest stage of the NFL. But despite that, the 49ers are taking a one-point lead, 19-18. to 18. So now here comes Tommy Townsend to send it off. He can't possibly fumble the snap this time. He punts it, and that's a long one. He'll send it all the way to the 23 for a 57-yard punt. That's an amazing punt. McLeod will take about the 34, be forced out of bounds. So here comes the Niners offense with a one-point lead after the safety. Nine minutes left to go in the third quarter. So birdie. 
Debo and McCaffrey in the backfield. Takes a snap. He'll have Debo heading inside, running right towards McCaffrey. He'll pick up about four yards, excuse me, before being taken down. So now with just over eight and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter, Purdy in shotgun takes a snap. He'll hand it off McCaffrey going outside left. He finds a hole in the defense, but he only makes it at 41 before being taken down for a three-yard gain. That'll stick him with a third and three. So here comes Purdy with one back behind him and a light stuff with him. He takes a snap. His draw McCaffrey, but I don't think he got the first. I see the closest to the referee, and that'll make it an interesting fourth and inches call from their own 43. So, and they are, in fact, lining for up for it. They are taking a risky path today. So, Purdy with a heavy set out there and two backs. And maybe they're just trying to make the defense flinch. And with one second on the play clock, per Niners do get the snap off. I don't think this defense was ready. But Juszczyk gets the ball, and he has got it. He only pick up four yards to the 47 to pick up a final first down. That could have been very bad and could have really set them back, especially with them already having the lead. So Purdy now in shotgun just under seven minutes ago, tries to take the snap, but it looks like there's some pre-snap action. Let's see what the ref has to say. False start. Everybody but the center. Five-yard penalty. First down. Oh, that is bad communication right there. It'll cost them five yards. But we did get to hear the line here in Super Bowl, no less. So after the full start, let's see if they can get back on track. It's still first down, though. So Purdy takes a snap, hands off McCaffrey running outside right this time, but he's only able to get three yards to the Niners, 45. So now the Niners at second and 12, need at least some yards here, you have to think. Purdy takes a snap, quickly passes Sammy Gold, because about seven before it being taken down at the Chiefs 48. Tackled there by Sneed, so pretty decent gain. Now just under six minutes left to go. It'll be a third and five. Purdy in shotgun. Takes a snap. Steps out of the pocket and launches an absolute rocket to Ayuk on the post route. Caught. And we brought down at the Chiefs 18. So an even 20-yard gain. Eventually taken down by Mike Edwards. So now the first and 10 in the end zone, Purdy quickly bringing his team to the red zone very easily. In fact, Purdy takes a snap, hands off McCaffrey running up the middle, but he is stopped behind the line for a two-yard loss. I turn Sean Wharton, who has made some pretty important plays tonight. This Chiefs defense, so now it's just under four and a half, or sorry, excuse me, let, just under five minutes ago in this third quarter. And in the third... Purdy, empty backfield, takes a snap, and boys, the pressure rolls out to his right and just has to toss it away, which would bring him a third and 12 for the Chiefs 20. Actually, probably a pretty bad situation here. So, Purdy, now in shotgun, takes a snap, backs up a bit, and he is sacked. Charles Omeniwanu, a 12-yard loss as Omenu manages to sneak his way through the line and bring down Purdy at the 32, which will force a field goal unit to come out. So now from here is an even 50-yard field goal. Let's see if Moody can hit it. That's a good snap, good hole, and it is good kick. I was never in doubt. No, in the Niners lead 22-18. to 18. So now after the successful field goal, here's Moody to kick off with just over four minutes to go in the third quarter. This one will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the Chiefs on their next drive, hoping they don't take the safety around this time. And Holmes looks fired up and ready to take his team down the field. Looks like he's a bit upset that he took that safety. And who wouldn't be? So Mahomes now in shotgun, light set, takes the snap, steps on the pocket, hits balance, scaling on the slant, who big out 10 yards to 35. So a pretty solid first play and pretty solid first throw and catch, quite frankly. So with now just over three and a half minutes to go, Mahomes, shotgun and heavy set, takes the snap, hands off check, who kicks about six yards to 41. Tucker there made by Fred Warner. So, just under three minutes ago, Mahomes, empty backfield, takes a snap, quickly hits Kelsey, who turns up field and get about five yards to their 46, which is enough for the first down. So, now with a fresh set of downs, Mahomes, two backs, takes the snap, hands off Pacheco, bringing it at four yards to the 50. So, now just under two minutes left, Mahomes takes the snap. 
Makes a handoff to Checo. Slide down on at the 45 for a five-yard gain. That'll bring up a third and one. That is Mahomes on the run, by the way. So now with just under a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Mahomes with Kelsey and Pacheco in the backfield. Takes a snap. Makes a handoff to Kelsey and hands it off to Pacheco using Kelsey as a blocker. He misses a 35 for a 10-yard gain. Red game from both sides has performed pretty great today, at least in the second half. For the first half, Chiefs, not so much. So now just under a minute to go, Mahomes takes a snap. Quick pass of Rice, but he is stumped right at the line for no gain by Darius Ward. So now with 16 seconds to go, this is likely to be the last play of the third quarter. As Mahomes takes a snap and takes a quick pass to Watson, who backs out six on the screen pass. So that will be the end of the third quarter. So if you look in your description, you'll see the third quarter stats. And if not, we'll be moving on to the fourth quarter. And three, two, one. Hello and welcome to the final quarter of Super Bowl 58. And it's a close one currently as the Niners hold the lead 22 to 18. But the Chiefs do have possession of the ball and the Niners 29. So they could easily take the lead this drive. It is currently third and four. So here comes Mahomes ready to for the first play of this fourth quarter, where one of these teams will maybe give in the Lombardi at the end of the quarter. So Mahomes, in shotgun, takes the snap, steps up in the pocket, and just dumps it off to Pacheco, but he'll only make it halfway there to 27. Now will bring up an interesting fourth and two call. That's Thomas with the tackle. So now it looks like the Chiefs, after a long discussion, will go for it. And so now Mahomes in shotgun takes a snap. It's a screen pass, and the Niners brought pressure. Mahomes gets it off of Pacheco, but he underthrows him. He is able to recover, though. Slows him down a, a tiny bit. And he dies for the first down. And the rest says yes, he did in fact make it past the line for a first down barely at the 25. He's a tap down at the by C Ward. Davius Ward. So now just under 14 minutes to go. Mahomes in shotgun takes a snap, fires quickly to Rice on the slant, but he drops it, so it'll be incomplete. Looks like maybe he just threw Mahomes through just a little bit too fast for him. So now, after the incompletion, Mahomes empty backfield and four wide receivers takes a snap, hits Kelsey on the drag route. He's going the 15 10, five diving for the pylon, but he is short. He stopped at the one. He was so close, but he just barely didn't get there. Tackled by Logan Ryan. Oh, it looks like Andy Reid is going to throw the red flag. We'll take another look at this play to see if he made it. We're, what we're looking for is whether the ball crossed the end zone. And it looked it's a lot closer in slow motion, but we'll see what the refs have to say. After reviewing the play, the call stands. The receiver was tackled short of the line, and the Chiefs will be charged with their first timeout. So that will cost them one of their timeouts, and they will only have one more challenge in this game. After the failed challenge, here comes Mahomes from the 1, 13 minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the Super Bowl. Takes a snap, steps up in the pocket, and fires a bullet to Valley Scantling. Touchdown, Chiefs! Marquez Valley Scantling. Yeah, the Chiefs to lead in the 4, 24-22. That was just an all-around great execution by the Chiefs. And with an extra point, he will they will take a three-point lead. So here's Butker for the point after, and it is good. So the Chiefs will take a three-point lead, 25-22. So now after making the extra point, 13 minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock, Here's Bucker the kickoff. It is away, and McLeod will return it from the Niners. Now he'll make it up to the 29 for a 20-yard kick return, so that'll give him a few extra yards to start the drive. So here comes a vital drive for the Niners as they attempt to take the lead back early in the fourth. Purdy, with two backs and three wide receivers, takes a snap, steps up in the pocket, and launches a rocket to Debo, and he caught it. Debo makes an amazing diving grab to catch that ball. The Chiefs 29 for a long 44-yard reception. I'll put him in position to at least tie the game up. And that was an amazing play by Samuel. Tackle there by Sneed. So after a long huddle, Purdy comes out in shotgun. Heavy set. Takes a snap. Fakes a handoff to McCaffrey and quickly hits Kittle, who gains about 4 yards before being brought down. Tackled there by Trey Greenlaw. 
Purdy in shotgun with a light set, takes a snap, steps up in the pocket, will just take off before sliding for a three yard gain to the 22. And so that will bring up a third and three. Purdy in shotgun, motions back to the motions. McCaffrey did a line, takes a snap, steps back in the pocket, voice pressure, takes a shot for the end zone, and Ayuk, and it's picked. Trent McDuffie now taking it back, and he's off to the races. Purdy somehow manages to catch up with him and tackle him at the 50. So an excellent play by the Chiefs defense. Pressure Purdy into a pick. That is Trent McDuffie with the interception. So now that our defense got a pick, here comes the offense to hopefully not only add to their lead, maybe run a little clock here to try and get out of this here quickly with the win. Mahomes in shotgun, sends Rice in motion from left to right, takes a snap, fakes the hand off to Rice, and will keep it and gains about 10 before sliding down. We'll pick up another first. That's where you, what you want to see at the point. Nothing crazy, just good plays to keep moving the chains. So now with just over 11 minutes to go, now after gaining the first, Mahomes in the backfield, three tight ends, takes the snap and will pass it to Gray, picks up a decent six yards on first down. They have a pretty good job of getting a lot of their receivers involved and taking advantage of their depth chart. Now the second and four from the Niners, 34. Ten and a half minutes to go, Mahomes takes a snap, hands it off to Pacheco, running right, but he is stopped for no gain by Randy Gregory. He's had a great game tonight. I'm going about third and four. So now third down from the Niners, 34. They'd really like to avoid a sack. I would knock them out of field goal range, but picking up the first could be really helpful in securing this win. So Mahomes in shotgun, hands it off to Checo, and he, he, he finds a big hole up the middle as the Niners defense was not expecting a run there, which allows them to pick up a six to the 28th of the Niners. That will move the chains. So now the Chiefs with a new set of downs, four wide receivers in the game. Mahomes takes a snap and his wide receiver screenplay as he rockets it. Vanilla Scantling and he gets a great block from McCall Hartman, which allows Marquez to get open space and he won't be corralled until he makes it the 15 for a 13 yard gain. So he is a surprising standout in today's game for the Chiefs, making yet another play. So now with Checo in as the quarterback. Looks like some kind of wildcat formation. Pacheco motions McKinnon, of all people, towards him. Takes a snap, laterals up to McKinnon, who then passes it back to Pacheco backwards. And Pacheco will gain about five yards on this strange play that makes absolutely no sense, but he gains yards, so we won't argue with that. So now with eight minutes left to go and Mahomes back end as quarterback in shotgun with Ekin and five from the 10. Takes a snap, hangs it off to Checo outside left who pick up at two yards for another third and three. So now approaching the halfway point of the fourth quarter, the Chiefs have the ball and you gotta think that the Chiefs can make it a two score game and put a lot of pressure on Niners offense, quickly get points. So Mahomes in shotgun takes a snap on it, passes Kelsey on the fly, he stiffs on the guy, that will slow his momentum somewhat, he only make it to the four for four yards, but that will give them the first down, if anything that could actually be seen as a good play to not score, because now they can drain more clock, and help seal this game. So now the first and goal from the four, Mahomes in shotgun takes a snap, quickly fires at Kelsey on the end zone, touchdown, jeez. Travis Kelsey, and that will certainly make it harder to come back. So Chiefs take a two-score lead, 31-22. So that was six minutes and 51 seconds left on the clock. Bucker is out for the extra point. Good snap, shaky hold. And it's blocked by Oren Burks, and George Odom catches it. It's a live ball. Odom is going around, makes the man miss. And he's off to the races, the 40, 30, 50, 35, and he is gone. That will give the... Niners extra hope as now they are only down seven after the block extra point return for two. That was an excellent play by special teams. And man, they have been the unit to watch for this 49ers team today. Surprisingly, it's not the offense or defense. It's the special teams really helping them a lot. So now after the blocked extra point, here's Bucker the kickoff. And they'll bounce out of the end zone for a touchback.
So here on the Brock Purdy and the Niners offense, down seven with just under seven minutes to go, hoping to make a late score to possibly send this game to overtime. So for the first time of the drive, Purdy in shotgun with a heavy set, takes a snap, hands off to McCaffrey, goes about five to the 30. McCaffrey has been pretty consistent throughout this Super Bowl. Like if they need yards, their best bet is to give it to McCaffrey. Purdy in same formation, takes a snap, takes a handoff. Well, hit Kittle on the in route, who gets about seven yards of the 37. That will pick up on the first down for the Niners. So, just over five and a half minutes go, and the Niners' offense driving. Purdy stays in the shotgun, but different personnel on the line. He takes a snap, hands it off to McCaffrey, running outside right. He'll pick about five yards to their own 42. So, now just under five minutes to go now. The rules changes are now effective as of. And if any player who is making forward progress goes out of bounds, it will stop the clock until the next snap. So Purdy, in shotgun, takes a snap. He rolls out to his left, and with no one open, he'll take off and slide up the 42 for a 10-yard gain. And this is, that is a great play by Purdy, not to force anything, kick what he can get. So when now just over four and a half minutes to go, Purdy, in shotgun, takes a snap, steps up in that pocket, and fires a rocket to Ayuk, and he caught! He is gone! Touchdown 49ers. They did not they leave quite a lot of time on the clock. This does give their defense a chance to force a punt or turnover possibly make it so they can win with a turnover. But still, that was an amazing 35-yard reception. And from there, he was wide open to make the end zone as they come within one, 31-30. And here is Moody for the extra point. And oh, he misses it. No good. And they will still be down one. And so now after the missed extra point, here's Moody to kick off. And is gone. Maybe a bit of anger after missing the extra point. So now four minutes and 16 seconds. Here comes Mahomes. Try and click out hell at the rest of the clock. And try and win their second consecutive Super Bowl victory. So Mahomes now in shotgun, hands it off to check, but he's stopped at the line for no gain by Eric Armstead. So with just over three and a half minutes to go, Mahomes takes a snap. We'll hand it back to Pacheco. We get about five yards this time, and they'll bring up a Thornton third and five. So uh, Niners do decide to start using their timeouts, and they have two left plus the two-minute warning, but if they can get a stop from here, it'll be a great position to get a game-winning field goal. So Mahomes... On one of the most important snaps of the game, takes the snap and have Pacheco who gains five yards to the 35 and will pick up another first down to keep that clock rolling. So now the Niners with three minutes and 28 seconds will take their second timeout. And you gotta think they really need to get a stop to have a chance at winning this one. The Holmes and Shotgun with heavy set basically telling they are running. Niners they are running. And they are. Pacheco runs out the middle, but will actually lose a yard on the carry back to their own 39. Mullins with a little under three minutes. Hands on off to Pacheco, running out the middle. and gets stopped again, only getting that one yard back. So now they will have to run another play before the two-minute warning, but they do want to keep the, running the ball. Or do they want to and win the game with it? We'll find out. Mahomes in shotgun takes a snap and he fakes a handoff actually. Steps back to pass, but he's set for a 10 yard loss. Nick Bosa, a critical player, really to get the Niners some semblance of hope. I'll give the Niners one final shot to win the game. So now the two minute warning comes into effect. So now after the two minute warning, here comes Tommy to try and pin the Niners deep and he will kick from his own 30. Snap is good, the punt is away, and it'll hit down at the 9 years 20, so an even 50-yard punt. But here comes McLeod on the return, and he is going. Finally, he tackled at the Niners, 40, 20-yard punt return to help the Niners out. And my word, he has been excellent for them on special teams today. So here comes the Niners offense. Down one with less than two minutes to go in the final quarter of Super Bowl 58. The drive will go down in history as a defining drive that will determine the winner of this competition. There will be no tie. Purdy will start the drive with an empty backfield, takes a snap, steps up in the pocket, finds Jenny on the post route. It will be tackled inbounds at the Chiefs 40. They might already be in field goal range if they can boot a long one. I'm sure they'd love to get a little closer. 
Now with a minute and a half, still in a timeout taken by either side. Purdy in the same formation takes the snap, runs his right, scrambles out. And walk out of bounds at the 35. Great play by Purdy. Get even closer to hoisting the Lombardi. Might even consider running the ball at some point to shave off some clock before the Chiefs will use their final two timeouts. Purdy now in shotgun, takes a snap, stops out in the pocket, finds Samuel, who makes a man miss, and he is going to 20, 15, 10, and he finally tackled the 8. That might have finished the Chiefs. It looks like the Niners will not take any risks, and will just take a knee to bring down the clock as much as possible. So now two seconds left, the Niners take a timeout. For the 9, it will be a 27-yard attempt. Let's see if Moody can kick this for the Lombardi Trophy. After missing the extra point, all eyes rest on the kicker. See who will win the Super Bowl. Good snap. Good hold. And the kick is good. The Niners are your Super Bowl winners. 33-31. to 31. This win came down to the very, very last play. But man, it was interesting all the way through. And I am me. And this has been a great podcast. I'm a I'm glad you have welcomed me and allowed me the broadcast for you tonight. So, now in the description of the full game stats for both teams. And this broadcast is now automatically set to end. So, thank you all for tuning in. This is me.